What is happening? This is Nathan here, Roadmasters. So, I get the LG Quad Zero R9. Look at this guy, it's so sleek. Some people love the design, some people hate it. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this design. This is my most expensive raw vacuum at $2,600. Well, can this guy pick up Red Set? Let's find out. Hold on. Okay, for this challenge, I'm gonna weigh out the dry dustbin of the LG Quad Zero R9. One thing to know is the dustbin is quite unique. It has a top loading system where the actual panel flips up. Also, the cyclonic technology in the dustbin should provide additional suction over traditional robot vacuums. One thing to know is I did find that the dustbin is a little bit hard to get back in. You kind of have to make sure it's lined up and pushed down the top. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see how well the LG Quad Zero R9 does. For this pickup challenge, I'm just gonna have the robot do a single pass. Now, for this challenge, a lot of robot vacuums struggle because they lack the suction that traditional upright vacuums have. So this is probably the hardest challenge I do here at Royal Masters for robot vacuums. Now, what makes it challenging is the cracks in the tiles. Also, the tiles themselves are not smooth. They actually have a coarse surface on them, so it makes it hard for a robot vacuum to provide a good seal. So they have to rely on the bristle design and also the high airflow and suction. Just like any other smart vacuum, you can use the thin Q app to control the robot vacuum with your smartphone. It supports both iPhone and Android. Now in certain markets, you can actually use Amazon Dash. So the robot has the ability to order replacement filters and consumable parts if it's set up properly. I did try this with Amazon. Unfortunately, it's not available in my area. With most smart robot vacuums, you can just select an area or room and the robot will clean in that certain spot. But here's where the LG gets interesting. If I click on this little camera icon up top, I can actually view the live feed of the robot vacuum. So this is great if you want to have a 2-in-1 device where it acts as a mobile security camera. You can actually tell the robot to go to a certain area of your house if you're away and you can just check up on things. Now keep in mind that this is kind of grainy, it's not the greatest quality, but it's suitable for just keeping an eye on your house when you're away. This feature works on both Wi-Fi and cellular networks. The LG offers multiple ways to control the robot. You can use the on-screen controls like I did here, or you can actually use a remote control screen on the app which allows you to steer the robot via remote control. You can also view the live feed which is kind of cool, kind of like an FPV version of a RC car. Lastly, there's a handheld remote which allows you to steer the robot as well. So I'll let you guys be the judge of the LG Core Zero R9, let you think if it's worth the $2,600. Now keep in mind that prices have gone down and unfortunately here in the USA you cannot buy the LG. I actually bought this model on eBay. The LG has a carpet breeze mode, so you can definitely hear the differences in the RPM of the vacuum motor. Once it goes back on hardwood floors or a tile, it actually drops down significantly. I kind of wish there was an option to keep in the max power mode. Hey, did you know that the LG has night vision mode? Yeah, let's go ahead and turn those bright LEDs on, and now I can see better. I found that the LG sensors are really good, also comes with a handheld remote which allows you to steer the robot, also change the power settings. One thing that the LG could work on is the navigation. While it has advanced sensors, I think sometimes the navigation is a little wonky. You may notice that it sometimes kind of get hung up in some areas where it spends additional time. It doesn't provide a true back and forth clean pattern like on most other smart robot vacuums. If you've ever seen LG's previous models, they actually had side brushes. So this is very unique, having a different style, also omitting the side brushes. So in my opinion, Robot Vacuum should have at least one side brush to help get around the corners. So take a look at the height of the LG. Notice how high it sits. So this causes a problem when it's trying to get underneath furniture. So in this scenario, when it's trying to get close to the baseboards, it can because it's hitting its camera system. While the design looks pretty cool in my opinion, I think the practicality is kind of like out there. Um, I really think robot vacuums should have a slim profile, not sit up tall. Okay, so it looks like the LG is almost done. Let's see how much it picked up.
Okay, did you remember the dry weight of the dustbin? Yes, 21.03 ounces. So what I like about the dustbin is the design. It's really nice that it's clear so you can easily see where the dustbin's full. And it does hold a lot, about a cup and a half worth of dirt. Also, the cyclone technology does provide a decent amount of suction. The dustbin design offers a single filter, which is washable, so it makes cleaning really easy. So I was surprised how well the LG did at 74%. This is on par with other smart uh, vacuums. Alright, let's just see how much it picked up on paper. Just with a single press, all the contents get empty, kind of like a canister vacuum. Okay, so let's see if this Osmo 950 can pick up the rest of the sand that the LG left. Now, one thing that Osmo has is a suction-only port. That's why I'm using this demonstration, and it can run up to 24 CFM of airflow. The Osmo also has 200 minutes of battery life, so if you have a large home, the Osmo might be an ideal choice. So stay tuned for a dedicated sand challenge for the Osmo 950, and we'll see how much it can pick up. But for this test, I'm just going to give you a comparison of the two high-end robot vacuums. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. So I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges with robot vacuums. I do cleaning products. I also do a lot of tech products on this channel. So stay tuned for more products. This is a stick vacuum. I believe it's called the Dreamy V10, which runs at 22,000 pascals. So it could easily pick up the rest of the sand. Okay, so you guys have an awesome super duper day and be safe out there. And I'll see you guys next time.